Let's solve theory question 12a in YAC of 2022. It says the probability that an athlete will not win any of the three races is 1 over 4. If the athlete runs in all the races, what is the probability that the athlete will win? 1. Only the second race. 2. All the three races. 3. Only two of the races. Since we are dealing with the probability of winning and not winning, this information here is very crucial. This 1 over 4 is the probability that the athlete will not win any of the three races. Thus, if the probability that the athlete wins is P bracket R, I can just say since we are dealing with three races, P bracket R1 can represent the probability that the athlete will win the first race. P bracket R2 will be the probability that the athlete wins the second race. And P bracket R3 would be the probability that the athlete wins the third race. Similarly, we can say that P bracket R1 complement is the probability that the athlete does not win the first race. P bracket R2 complement would be the probability that the athlete does not win the second race. And similarly, P bracket R3 complement would be the probability that the athlete does not win the third race. And already we've been told that the probability that the athlete will not win any of the three is 1 over 4. So this is going to be 1 over 4, the second one, 1 over 4, and the third one, 1 over 4. And we know that in probability, the probability of success is always 1 minus the probability of failure. Thus, the probability of winning the first race would be 1 minus probability of not winning the first race. So this is just going to be 1 minus 1 over 4. And this is 3 over 4. Similarly, this is going to be 1 minus probability of not winning the second race. That's still 1 over 4. This is 3 over 4. And the third one will also be 1 minus 1 over 4. This is equal to 3 over 4. Having obtained this, we can go ahead to solve our problems. The first one, the probability that the athletes will win only the second race. And we know that the second race is R2. So here, if he wins the second race, what it implies is that he's going to lose the first and the third. So this is going to be probability of the second and probability of losing the first. That's going to be R1 complement and losing the third. This is R3 complement. We know what probability of R2 is. That's three quarters. And in probability is a multiplication. Probability of R1 complement, here is it. So 1 over 4 times R3 complement, that's also 1 quarter. 3 times 1 times 1 is 3. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So our answer is 3 over 64. The second one, the probability that the athlete will win all three races. This implies that he's going to win the first one and that's a multiplication, the second and the third. And we know what PR1 is. That's three quarters, PR2, three quarters, PR3, three quarters. Three times three times three, that's 27. Four times four times four, that's 64. This is the probability that the athlete will win all three races. The third one, that's the probability that the athletes will win only two of the races. This is also very straightforward. We've got three races, R1, R2, and R3. Winning only two would be the probability that he wins the first and the second, but loses the third. So this is going to be R1, R2, R3 complement or the athlete will win the first, lose the second, but wins the third. So this is going to be win the first, 
win the third, lose the second. That's going to be out to complement. Or the athlete loses the first, that's I1 complement, but wins the second and the third. Now, we are going to be multiplying the probabilities within the brackets because, for example, this one is the probability of winning the first and winning the second and losing the third. This one is the probability of winning the first and winning the third and losing the second. And the third one is the probability of losing the first and winning the second and winning the third. And we know that and is a multiplication. Thus, this first one is going to be probability of winning the first, that's 3 over 4, and winning the second, that's 3 over 4, and losing the third, here it is, this is 1 over 4, or is an addition in probability, winning the first one, that's 3 over 4, and winning the third, that's another 3 over 4, and losing the second, that's 1 over 4. Or is an addition. Losing the first, that's 1 over 4. Winning the second, that's 3 over 4. Winning the third, that's another 3 over 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 times 4, that's 64. Plus 3 times 3, that's 9. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, plus 1 times 3 times 3, that's 9. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Since we've got the same denominators, we've just got 64. 9 plus 9 plus 9, that's 3 times 9, that's 27. This is the probability that the athletes will win only two of the races. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, kindly like it by giving it a thumbs up. Share to your friends and colleagues on social media. Don't forget to drop a comment and click on the subscribed icon. To get notified when I upload new videos, kindly click on the all. That's the dark bell button on the subscribed icon. Thank you for seeing it once again. See you in the next video.